first destination is Gwangjang Market, which I love to go every time with my friend because there are a lot of traditional food and even live octopus that he wants. Which to I really try. want to try. So. <laughs> Today is our first proper day exploring Seoul and we're doing something I'm really excited about. Yeah, we've uh, actually managed to organise a show around guide. So a local girl from Seoul called Sue is going to meet us at another one of the tube stations and show us around hopefully more of Seoul off the, uh, off the beaten track and off the tourist trail. And try some exciting food too. <laughs> So it's not very far away. We've got like one hop on the tube. We're gonna jump on there and go meet Sue. So we now have two minutes to get one stop and then find the right exit to meet soup. I think we might be late. Like Korean style, I don't know like how can I introduce like all the time when I like introduce myself I say I'm 25 years old. The most important thing in Korea. Like yeah. so my job is interior design and I love to guide some foreigner people to like guide some hidden places. Yeah. So like today I'm I'm so honored to be <laughs> well, your guide. You. Like let's try to find some like very unique or fantastic place in Korea. Yeah. Ta -da! I think we'll have lots of fun. <laughs> 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 yeah. So yeah, this is all the first destination is Gwangjang Market, which I love to go every time with my friend because there are a lot of traditional food and even live octopus that he wants which to Which I try. really want to try. So. <laughs> so yeah, like I want to see I want to see his reaction about like because he wanted to do. Yeah, so. as long as it's not feeling like he's climbing back <laughs> no, out. It will be not, <laughs> so. it will be not, it will be dead. But yeah. Yeah, so that's me and I hope you like I hope you guys love to. I think we will. Okay, I have to introduce this uh, pancake, Korean pancake. We call Nokdu Jam. If you see that machine, yeah. It's grind like some kind of thing. Now it's automatic, but before all people just do it by themselves. Okay. It's changed by technology. Sue has brought us to this market where she recommends we can try the live octopus and she recommends that we try it with pear and raw beef. Apparently that's the best way to have it. Well, we are trying Tang Tang beef and octopus. Tang Tang because of the sound when you chop it up. Tang 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 Tang. <laughs> uh, and then we're going to have the um, ground mung bean pancake. Because it's really cheap material normally, so when we are like very poor, like when after Korean War, we don't really have much food, so we use the most cheapest material to use to drink alcohol first. So this is rice wine, we call makgeolli in Korea. I hope you guys love it. Yeah, it tastes it tastes kind of fizzy, yeah, so you can tell that it's fermented. It's got that sort of sweet... You know I was talking about uh, elderflower champagne? It's got that el homemade elderflower champagne twang to it. Mix it together. And there's one as well. It's pretty cool. I think I've gone too heavy on the sesame oil. Just a little, I think. Very little, yeah. But it tastes fresh and light. It's actually a little more chewy than cooked octopus. It's taking too No, thankfully it's not. Oh, it's stuck! Oh, 
Oh yeah. That together is really nice. Just like the vinegar and soy. Just give it like a sweet saltiness. With like the crispy, almost potato fritter type taste from the mung bean pancake is really nice together. The lunch was delicious. I'm so glad we got Sue with us because we probably just had the wheel and octopus on its own and it might have been a bit too rich. But with the pear and the raw beef, it was absolutely perfect. And I reckon if anyone likes sushi, you would definitely like that dish. So if you come to Korea, you definitely give it a go. Sounds a bit scary at first, but honestly, dipped with a little bit of sesame oil. It's super fresh, super tasty. Love it. Everything was like high pass, the road. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, we have to dig it and find out our old river. That's why 2005 we tried to recover our river. So now it's like this kind of shape. It looks much nicer. Yeah, it's amazing. I prefer a city when uh, when it has green in it, like exactly. trees and plants. And it, mm -hmm. it makes the city feel, feel yeah, much you know, nicer. Like what very was the name like of the river again? River. Okay. River. This is Korean treasure number one. This is the east gate of the old city that we just learned. And I've just been reading about it. There are four letters that uh, represent perfect virtue, justice, civility, and wisdom. And this gate was inscribed with a stone that's built inside it for chi, which is wisdom. This one is in the very best condition, which is why it is Korea's treasure number one. And it has stood even through the times of Japanese occupation. So it's a symbol that's particularly Korean and has survived through many ages. So it's a pretty important thing. But you know, we have to build this huge building, but we can't touch the heritage. So yeah. we asked the Jahad, can you change the flow plan? Because we found out really important heritage. Yeah. So now everything is changed, the shape. So can you see, see the roof? The grass. Before it yeah. was designed to climb it up to all the people, but now the shape was changed. So we can't, nobody can go to the roof, even yeah. if there is a green area. Before it was designed like that to walk away. But because of the heritage, the shape changed, so nobody can. So there's a meaningful thing. So we use WhatsApp, but here in Korea, Sue uses Kakao, that apparently everyone uses. So much so they have an entire shop which is made up of all of the things that you can have as emojis on Kakao. Like every single one of them is turned into a cuddly toy, a mug, a magnet, whatever. It's amazing. Yep, that's right, you can even get a power bank. The next stop on our tour, because we're still slightly hungry, uh, we've come to Fish Street. I think to get some fish. We walked up and down Fish Street, aptly named Fish Street, because it's full of loads of different vendors outside barbecuing a variety of different fish, like uh, mackerel and cutlets. The cutlass fish is one of the things that I've heard you absolutely have to try in Seoul. 
uh, which looks like a really long, a bit like an eel, but kind of narrow, thin body. Apparently it can have quite a few bones, but uh, has a really great flavor. A bit like eel, but maybe slightly less buttery. Fish was really delicious. We had cutlass fish and two different types of mackerel. Pretty simple, just barbecued and served with rice and wasabi and soy, like you do when you have sushi. Now we are heading to the subway. We're gonna to head to another part of town that Sue says has a lot more modern influences and actually more European influences. So it'll be interesting to see the contrast. So we just learned from Sue some really interesting facts about how Koreans work out their age. When you're born, you are one. And when the next year begins, you automatically turn two. So say you were born in December, you're one when you're born, and then a few days later, when it's a new year, you're two. So you can be two years different to what we would use in Europe as your age. Incredibly steep path up here. And then we emerged on the top of the hill and we have what is possibly the best view of Seoul you can imagine. Soon has found it's a perfect spot to watch the sunset. We have had the absolute best day today with Sue. It's amazing how much having a local show you around really livens up a place and kind of gets you to experience the local side of things. It makes a world of difference. And actually all we wanted to do really today was just kind of hang out with uh, Sue and eat some food and have some drink and we learned loads and had a fantastic time. So Sue, thank you very much. We've had a blinding day. It's and been really good. If you've never used it before, the Show Around app is how we managed to find Sue. You can find locals and cities all over the world. We want to show you around. It's been a lot of fun, but it's time for us to jump on the tube and go home because it's really late. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.